and the beloved grandfather killed in a brazen attack. Now the victim's family calling for justice. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. That attack happened in broad daylight in San Francisco. As Ken Bastida reports, the victim's family wants the suspect held accountable and also calling for an end to racism. Ken? That's right, Alan. Uh, the victim's family rightfully upset. Uh, we'll hear from them. But first, we have disturbing new surveillance video of this crime. It shows a complete disregard for human life. And this video you're about to see may be difficult for some to watch. It's been a, a total shock. I can't believe it that happened to him. Yes. He's a good man. Yeah. He's a good guy. A daughter and son-in-law in mourning after Visha Ratanapakti died in a horrifying attack. The surveillance video captures the moment of impact. You can see Ratanapakti in the driveway. A suspect barrels him down and takes off, leaving the victim lifeless on the ground. Seeing the video is just devastating. It's it hurts so much. The incident happened on Thursday on Fortuna Avenue in the Anza Vista neighborhood. Ratana Pakti died from his injuries on Saturday. San Francisco police say a 19-year-old suspect has been arrested. The victim's family is now demanding justice. This guy should not be let up back on the street. He should be charged with, with murder. If you see the video, there's, it's, there's nothing non-intentional about it. The family says Ratana Pakti came to San Francisco from Thailand to help raise his grandchildren. They believe that racism played a role in the attack. On a family organized GoFundMe page to raise money for funeral arrangements, they say that racism has once again proven deadly. When people saw me, because of what I'm looking like, I'm Asian, you know, and then they, they pray me as a, I bring the COVID. To this country. The family, now hopeful for change, is remembering Ratana Pakti as a calm, gentle man who always put family first. He came uh, to stay with us to help, help us with our children. We took care of him, but he also took care of us. Now, police arrested Antoine Watson. He lives in Daly City. He has been booked on one count of murder. A female associate as well, Malaysia Gu, she has also been arrested.